Hello, I'm Vince Sims, and this is Five Talk Street. Many of us are very excited about the once in a lifetime great North American eclipse taking place on April 8th. But you need to educate yourself and your children and everyone you know, really, so they will have a safe experience with this phenomenal event. Joining me today is Dr. Linda Silver. She is the Eugene McDermott Chief Executive Officer of the Perot Museum of Nature and Science, and her museum is doing a monumental effort to keep North Texas safe. So Dr. Silver, I want to thank you so much for being here with us. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for inviting us to talk about. Yeah, so just give us a little explanation of, for people that may not understand, they're hearing it a lot, sure. but not know really what's happening. What is this eclipse and why is it so important for our area? Right, well, it's a really special eclipse because it is an eclipse of totality, which means the moon is going to pass in front of of the sun and completely block out the sun's rays. Here in Dallas, that totality event will last for almost four minutes, which is, which is on the longer side of eclipse viewing. So mm -hmm. we're really excited about that. And when you say once in a lifetime, this won't happen again in this part of the world until 2317. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is one of those once in a lifetime type of opportunities. And so it's, it's gaining a lot of experience, but we want to make sure that people understand they need to be safe with this. And how do you go about being safe with this? Yeah, that's so important. We don't want anyone to look directly at the sun or rely on regular sunglasses as a way of being able to view this eclipse. And so what we're encouraging everyone to do is to make sure they secure some eclipse safety glasses. Mm -hmm. Now we've given out a million of these glasses from the Perot Museum, mostly to schools, but also through community groups. So we want to make sure everybody has these and at the point that we're starting to look at the sun just before totality, we want everybody to don their glasses. <laughs> As you said, this is something the Perot Museum is doing, giving out a million of these. Why is this such an important uh, passion for the Perot Museum to do this and give out this many? Well, we, thank you. We are all about inspiring minds through nature and science and being able to experience this once in a lifetime event is what we want to be able to provide everyone or as many people as possible. And so we're working with schools, we're working with community groups, we're encouraging parents, even businesses to let, let's all go outside and let's safely experience this mind-blowing experience. <laughs> Along with experiencing it, you're making sure people are educated about it by bringing in some experts on this. Tell us what the Marose Perot Museum is doing and who they're bringing in. Sure, so we're so excited. Our partners on this event are the Carnegie Institution for Science. We're flying in 29 professional astronomers here to Dallas. They'll be arriving the week before the eclipse, going out to schools, to businesses, to community areas to talk about the eclipse. Nine of those astronomers are actually bilingual um, and they will be on site during the eclipse at the Perot, but we'll also have them out at the Cotton Bowl for people who are watching the eclipse there and up at Clyde Warren park. Mm. What is getting you the most excited about all of this? You know, what's really exciting to me is to see all of the schools engaged around this and ensuring that they're incorporating this science into their day on that Monday. Mm -hmm. um, and also to see the way families can come together and share this really unique experience. I hope it gets them talking about science and I hope it sparks curiosity. So the museum will have special things going on, I guess, leading up to it and that day also? We do, so we will have all kinds of eclipse education programs going on leading up to the actual event. We'll have about 7,000 people on site during the eclipse. And again, we'll have our science educators as well as our, as our astronomers out in the community. And you can look online um, on our website to see where our community uh, science educators and astronomers will be in the week leading up to the eclipse. As we're leading up to it and as people are continuing to get excited and even more excited as we get closer to the next day, yeah. what do you most want them to understand and be prepared for with this from your standpoint? I think what I'd like them to be prepared for is that we, we often toss around the term once in a lifetime. This truly is one of those moments. So stop take the time, share this with your family, with your friends, and really be present in the moment. Mm -hmm. But do it safely. But do it safely. safely. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, well, Dr. Silver, we want to thank you so much for being here with us and sharing what the museum is doing. And I know being a science museum, this has got to be so exciting. It's for so exciting. <laughs> it truly is. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. You are welcome. And as she was saying, if you would like more information on the Perot and the solar eclipse, all you have to do is visit perotmuseum.org.